With tabs, we can control paragraph margins, indents, and alignment. To view and use tabs, you'll need to make the ruler visible. Whenever a cursor is present now, the ruler is going to appear. Currently, we have two downward-facing triangles and a rectangle in the ruler area. The downward-facing triangles represent the margins of the current paragraph. Drag each of these in a bit, and the edges of the current paragraph move in, but the rest of the document is not affected. Drag the box in to set the indent level of the first line in the paragraph. Adjusting paragraph margins like this can be a good way to pull some text out of the body text without needing to place it into a text box. If I make a few more adjustments to the formatting of this text, I might want to then save it as a new paragraph style. I'll call this Little Blue. Now I can assign this style to any other paragraph in the document, and it's going to take on the specific paragraph margins and text style. Back up at the top of the document now, we can use the tab key here to move the current line in a half inch with each press. To make this quicker, I can tap in the ruler and set a specific tab location or locations. Now when I tap the tab key, the line jumps to those custom tabs. Notice that the custom tabs are not applied to the next paragraph. If I wanted that to be the case, I'd want to update the big blue paragraph style with the current tab settings. Now I can use those custom tabs in the other paragraphs, as long as they're still in the big blue style. Now let's move down to the last line of the document. When I single tap on the ruler, a new left aligned tab is added. Double tap and that changes to a centered tab. Now if I tab over, the line's going to be centered on that tab. Move the tab and the line moves with it. Double tap again and it switches to a right align tab. Then one more double tap and we change to a decimal tab. Notice now the period in the sentence remains in the same spot even as I delete letters. If I start entering numbers line by line, the decimals in each will remain aligned when I press the tab key and jump them over to the decimal tab. To remove a tab from the ruler, just tap on it, hold for a second, and swipe down. Tabs and the ruler work a bit different on the iPhone. There's no tab button in the keyboard, so to enter a tab, tap and hold on the cursor to bring up the contextual menu, and then tap Insert and Tab. Go into Settings to view the ruler, and then you can view, add, or remove tabs. Tap Done to exit the ruler and return to editing the document.